Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the very simple but very effective technique of Shiny. So if you have seen my previous videos, most of the time I have been using some filters which are changing the data as soon as I am doing the selection and which is called reactivity. But here in this case as you can see nothing is changing. So it's basically a video about how we can control the reactivity of Shiny and basically enable the user that whenever the user is done doing the selection suppose if you have five or three or eight different types of selection that all the selections once they are done the user will select or click on this button which is update and all of your data is updated or your chart or your dashboard is updated with with those filters so how it helpful it is helpful in enhancing the user experience in such scenarios where you have some complex structure for doing the filtering and you would really not want that with every selection your dashboard is changing. First of all, it doesn't give a good ex user experience to the end user as well as it increases the time that it takes to upload the data. So think about a scenario where it is taking around two to three seconds whenever you are changing any selection and suppose if you have three selection that means somewhere around six to nine seconds it will going to take and which will not really help the user to to you know get the best output from the dashboard and sometimes may result in frustration so in such scenarios we can get the help of such button which is called submit button so if i click on the transmission let's say here in this case and click update now as you can see the data is updated similarly in case of plot let's say I want gears and click update now my chart is updated so the idea is that uh, we are giving the control from reactivity to this button and we will going to see how simple and how easy it is so if I go back to my code and if you have seen the code uh, by looking at previous videos we just had the select input which is nothing but this drop down box and then we had just added the submit button which is saying update so this is the update button and the effect of the submit button is that it cancels the or it holds the reactivity until this button is selected so whatever user is selecting suppose you have two three drop down radio button or any other control by which you you know you want user to enable it or select it all of those options will not change the result until your submit button is hit and you just have to specify the submit button in the front end there is no coding required in the server side because shiny basically identifies that whenever there is an update button please hold that means uh, it will going to hold the uh, reactivity so that's that's a topic i wanted to quickly discuss today about submit button so whenever you have such scenarios where you want to hold the reactivity and you want the user to select all the filters then and then update the result then you can use the submit button over here and give a good user good user experience to your end user so that's about it in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic